what's up and welcome back to my channel i have a hair company today and i don't want to butcher the name i'll put it right here on the screen probably i have let me go actually grab it this is a 20 inch um frontal as you guys can see i have already bleached the knots now this lace looks bomb right i barely plucked anything why does it look so yellow I barely plucked this frontal. I mean, not frontal, it's a closure, sorry. This is a closure unit. I barely, like it came pretty much like this. I probably did like a little bit in the front just because y'all know I got a small forehead, so I had to bring it back a little bit. It does come with a elastic band and it comes with two combs and one on the bottom. Oh, sorry, you also have one in the middle. I think I'm gonna cut these out because I never use these. I'm gonna actually cut out, I'm gonna cut out the combs. So now most of the combs are now out. I just have the one at the bottom. But yeah, I think that's way too light for my skin tone. Yeah, I'm gonna add some power to the wig cap. So this is my first time doing this. So let's pray all goes well. So I have this Maybelline um, Super Stay Better Skin. This is really old. I've had this for, I don't even wanna say how long, but it looks like this. It's really dirty, so please don't judge me. And it's any color rich tan, 80. This is probably expired, but whatever. Maybe this and my foundation might be the way to go. Okay, so I just added some of that same powder that I put on my um, wig cap to the lace. That looks better. That looks so much better. So now that I know where I want it to be at, I think it is a bit snug. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna just start asking for a large. I don't think I'm really like a medium cap size. Like, I think I really just have a big head. So now I'm gonna try something new and different because I want to try to keep this on longer. I'm gonna take this olive oil grip gel, ultra hold. It looks just like this. I got this from um, the mall, the mall's beauty supply store, and it was for eleven ninety nine. Okay, if I can find a link to it, I'll link it down below. I want pretty much a really strong hold, and I'm paying a little bit on my baby hairs because I have a small forehead, and it's a closure, so I wasn't really gonna stress about it. Now, is this okay to put on your edges, sis? Don't ask me. I do know. It says ultra hold gel for lace front wig and weave application so it says edge protector so there we go oh this dry kind of fast i've already put like the first layer on this is like the closest thing i'll use to probably glue like actual legit glue so the directions say to cleanse the hairline of all makeup and hair products didn't do that use clean fingers didn't do that either Apply a thin layer of gel in front of the hairline. Allow for a one to two minute drying time or until gel becomes tacky. Apply your wig securely and allow it to dry fully. For a secure hold, allow the first layer to dry off for two to three minutes. Apply a second layer again, waiting until the gel becomes tacky and apply your wig. Okay. Okay. Because I want to keep this on for a long time. As long as I can. A few days, hopefully. Tops. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this on for a long time. I'm trying to be real feminine because I really just be walking around looking like a grown man sometimes. Like, I'm trying to be more, you know, y'all just be, maybe it's the pandemic. I just don't be caring how I be looking, even on here. And that's so bad because this is the internet and nothing ever goes away. And the last thing I want is to see me looking like this for the rest of my life. So we're going to try to do better. Okay, so I'm going to pile another later. It's been like, maybe like two minutes. Because I don't want to let it dry. And then, you know, like it just doesn't stick on there. I didn't put too much. I think I might have brought down a little bit too far, but that's okay. So I'm apply my second layer and we're gonna just wait it out. I wanna add some spray just to really give this some real strong hold. I'm gonna add a little bit of Got to be. I'm just taking a cotton swab. There's nothing on it. Just to while it's still wet. So that way it doesn't dry too, too far down on my head.
sweat. All right, y'all. So I pretty much have the hair just being melted. And then we're going to go into styling. I'm going to take this off. It's been about a few minutes, give or take. All right, so. Wow. This is melted. Works for me, though. Yeah, we're like. Nowhere. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. It's like the tiny amount. I just want to get this lace to like melt into my skin. I'm gonna just take some like alcohol just to kind of clear up that like dry gel. So just take some plain on alcohol. Yeah, that's not a stain. And I got a forehead too. Come, come on, forehead, fake forehead. Closures is my thing. From closures from now on, y'all can keep the frontals. I am now going to style this hair. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna style my hair off camera and then I will come back. Actually, no, I'll, I'll, do my, I'll style my hair on camera maybe until my camera dies or my phone dies or whatever. And then um, I'll be back to talk to you guys. So let me turn my flat iron. Should have been did that. I had a feeling this was gonna look good too. I just, you know, when you just get a good feeling, you just feel something like in your soul that it's gonna work out. I got that exact feeling with this, with this wig and lo and behold, no ball cap method or nothing. I literally just take like some edge control and I, it for me, it works the same way as using a wax stick. So I literally just take a little bit. Y'all can't see that because it's clear. And I put it on top. Like any pomade really will do. I'm gonna add some um, heat protectant, which is what I should have did to the entire section, but I completely forgot. So I'm gonna just take a bit and run it through the hair. Silky straight, silky smooth. Wow, can we say Pocahontas? Look at how like, oh. If I weren't hot and sweating right now, cause I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and this is 20 inches of hair. So it's hot, okay? It's hot y'all, it's hot. Um, I would wanna put like layers in this in the front, just kind of frame my face, but I may do that like tomorrow off camera cause it's more caliente. Oh my god, why is it so hot? I can't do it. I'm gonna sweat and it's going to just slide off while I'm talking. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I don't want this to be long because this is already like I think I've been doing this for like two hours. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I answer everybody. Um, I will leave all the links, of course, to this hair as always, links to everything I've used, the hair, the company, all that will be down in the description box down below. And um, 
yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe of course comment down below let me know what you guys think of this video if you guys don't have a question sorry i said that really fast let me know what you guys think of this video if you guys don't have a question just comment down below say hi um like this video it really supports my channel thank you so much and i will see you guys in my next one bye so i've had this hair in for about 12 hours now over 12 hours and i do have some things i want to say i love this hair so much like it was just like from the moment I took it out the box. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm wearing a shirt because it's looking like I'm not. But it was the moment I took it out the box. I just knew this hair was going to be something special. And I can't really explain it how I knew. It was just like a feeling. You know when you just, you feel the hair, you see the lace, you just know it's going to hit. And I have not been proven wrong yet. Like, do y'all see this hair? And this isn't 20 inches, so... She's very much true to length. I love how the... Okay. I love how the thickness is such a natural density. It's not like overly thick. Um, I'm going to leave all the specs on the hair, the density and all that. My cap size is in a medium. It um fits comfortably, but I could have went with the large. But I feel like I went with the large, it would have been a little bit too big, baggy. But I also think I didn't make my hair flat enough. But that's neither here nor there. But this is my favorite like with hands down my favorite unit i have ever ever touched and i do want to cut more layers into it because i like the way it just falls i feel like just having it bone straight just doesn't suit me yeah so i feel like just having like bone straight here like i need to have layers so i did cut a little bit layers just really like right here like these two pieces right here and that's it um but yeah so i just wanted to put it in there this hair is amazing. I love this hair so much. I just had like a random thought, a random idea. Maybe I should just start selling my wigs. I do get, y'all please ignore the sound. Oh my God. Okay, so I do get quite a few. Okay, so I do get quite a few questions about um, if I sell wigs and I honestly never ever thought to sell wigs. And so I started doing my hair. I was just like, you know what? I have so many wigs that I don't wear and I might just start selling them. So let me know what you guys would think. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Comment down below and let me know. But this one, I'm gonna keep it for myself just for a little bit because this is all that in a bag of chips, okay? And I love me some straight hair. So this this one might not be up for grabs for a while. Just letting y'all put that out right now. Yeah, this might this might be, this might not ever go on sale. But all my other ways, especially the blunt bob wig that people still talk about to this day. That would definitely go on sale because I literally don't wear that one. Well, yeah, let me know what you guys think about me selling wigs. Um, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are interested, I'll probably post more information on that on my Instagram. So my Instagram is at Latrice underscore M underscore. I'll also leave it on the screen at the bottom and as well as link it. It's always in, it's always in the description box down below. I really only use my Instagram. I have a Twitter. I'm rarely ever on it. Um, so if you guys really like even have questions like instagram is the best way to contact me because i respond a lot faster through instagram if you guys follow me on instagram make sure you guys like this video it really supports my channel and yeah oh and don't forget to subscribe of course and i will see you guys in my next video